<laughs> upset, upset, upset. And boy, oh boy, upsets galore. And this is the round review. <laughs> Cool go review, yeah, review, weekly review with Cool Go. And starting off the AFL season with the traditional Thursday night Richmond Carlton match. Ties won by 33 in the end. Uh, Tommy Lynch was quiet, kicked three snags, kicked the first one of the game. So he looked at home as a Tiger and uh, yeah, they looked they look to be in good rhythm, the, the Tigers. Much to uh, the disappointment of all Richmond fans, Alex Rance did his ACL. Can we just get a quick. Rest in peace to Richmond's uh, grand final hopes. Well, Foxwood had their coverage going. Someone bent down and mooned the cameras. Some would say it was a, a full moon out on that Thursday night. The Richmond Carlton game also had this incident the fight in the crowd. going on there? Fighting in the crowd, boys, really? Really? On Friday night, another blockbuster game, Geelong versus Collingwood. The Cats won by seven points in a fairly tight game. Collingwood dominated most of the first three quarters, I'd say. And then the Cats just uh, just hung in there and just found a way. Yeah, Jamie Elliott and Darcy Moore both coming back from injuries. Boy, they both look pretty tidy. Darcy Moore down back, look fit. Jamie Elliott looked like he didn't miss a beat. He's barely played a game since what, like 2017. He looked sharp. It was a pretty uh, choppy game for both teams. The skills were pretty average, to be honest. But the big cats were clutch with Danger kicking a goal, Selwood kicking a goal, Gazza kicking a goal. Charlie Constable looks decent. They didn't look shy, the catters. So um, credit to them. Didn't play their best game. But they got it done. That's as we know. It's what the best teams do. The best play of the night was accidental. Tommy Langdon with the old uh, Falcon goal saver. Very impressive. So, you know, bang off the bounce to, you know, through the mitts, save the goal with the head. Easy does it, Tommy. Great stuff. Just quickly, um, also there was the AFLW prelims on. Adelaide far too good for Geelong going through to the grand final. And Carlton far too good for Freeman going through the grand final. So Adelaide Carlton, who's gonna win? Let me know. Um, I'm taking the Crows. Aaron Phillips, that's that's my girl. That's my girl. On the first game to kick off the Super Saturday of Foot D's versus Port Adelaide. Melbourne, obviously the heavy favourites going in. I went up with young Cade McDonald, watched the D's come out and absolutely dominate the first quarter. Geez, they looked good. All the people picking them top four, premiers, looked very good. I personally picked uh, Port Adelaide to win. And what do we know? After the first quarter, the D's looked very tired. And uh, the young Port boys lifted the energy. Butters, Dersma, Rosie, Willem Drew, all the all the new Port boys is out there. Just, Westhoff kicked five. Rockliffe had 44. Bokey looked like 2016 Bokey. Yeah, those youngsters, very good. Zach Butters, he's got a bit about him. I tell you what, it's exciting stuff. But they were very loud there as well. Um, the Port faithful. I had heard that a 14 of the best D's 22 didn't really do a preseason. So. Seen them play that first quarter the way they did, really good, and then sloppy for the last three. That just makes me, um, I wouldn't, you know, maybe their odds might have gone down. If you're a betting man, chuck some money on the D's to win the flag, because that first quarter was very impressive. And uh, I reckon when they build up their fitness throughout the year, I reckon they're going to be the side to beat. The Twilight game at Adelaide Oval, the Crows versus the Hawks. Crows heavy favourites. A lot of people thought the Crows were going to be top four this year. They still could be. Only round one. You know, way too early to think anything of it. But the Hawks came out and their pressure was elite. Yeah, they ended up winning by 32. The Crows just could never quite come back. Despite the Crows getting mopped for the better part of the game, Matty Crouch and Rory Sloan both ate the footy. Good signs for the Crows seeing those two blokes up and running. Tom Duda, the second ACL of the round. Not what you want. James Wall, Pedo. Solo from him. Hawks got a good one. And Saturday night, the Swans versus the Doggies again. Swans pretty heavy favourites. A lot of bad talk about the Dogs going into the season, but the Doggies stood up. Uh, they ended up winning by 17 with Bont, McRae and Libba getting plenty of the ball. Libba coming back, getting plenty of it. 
Bont kicked the ceiling goal in the goal square. It was a big, it was a big, whoo, it was a big up yours, everyone. The doggies were getting around it. Buddy had a very quiet night. Kicked one goal, two or something. He had about seven touches, I think. Very unbuddy like. The Swannies played about 10 minutes of football and they looked pretty good, to be fair, um, when they got it going. Big mate Norton, plenty of snags. There was a moment that really caught my eye. He was on the bench and he was trying to get on and he looked at someone and he gave him an absolute death stare. I don't know who he's talking to, but he's like, I'm glad he's gonna kill me, get him the kill you guys, but you know, fair play in order. The other game that night was probably the, you know, the biggest feel-good sort of game of the round. The Brisbane Lions beating the West Coast Eagles, the Premiers, by 44 points. Eagles obviously had no Gaff, no Nick Nat, no Kennedy, but what's the excuse? They didn't have Gaff and uh, Nick Nat in the grand final and they still managed to win the flag, so that's not really an excuse. Uh, Josh Kennedy obviously is big out, but I don't think he would have made the difference. The Lions were absolutely on one. Lockie Neal looked right at home. Didn't miss a beat. Dane Bean, woof, we got Lockie Neal, Lions boys. Looking solid. Lincoln McCarthy, yes, you heard that right. Lincoln McCarthy. Four snags to the Lions. I'm sorry, Lincoln. Fair play, Lincoln. Great game. Hodgy classes per usual. And the West Coast rocks. Vardy and Hickey didn't really show up. Hickey had a few hit outs, but one mark between the two big fellas, that ain't cutting it for me. That ain't cutting it, if I'm honest. For this question that we were all asking, this house Charlie Cameron is weakness. It's good. And to kick off Sunday's game, we had the Saners versus the Suns. One point game. The Saints getting up after the Suns, running hard in the fourth quarter, and just not being able to get it done. Fiorini, Fia who? Fiorini had 30 touches, running rampant for the Suns. The Suns look better than, you know, I think people would have thought. They tried a bit hard. The boy MP400 was flying. Matty Parker, kicked two, snagged. Started off really well, went quite a middle patch of the game, then late got involved again. But the Bombers looking awful up at Giant Stadium with, you know, the Giants running over them by, what was it, 72 points? Not ideal after a lot of people picking the Bombers to be top four. It wasn't, wasn't it. Canelio, Taranto, Whitfield all running rampant. Jezza Cameron, four snags. Lockie Keith looking like a superstar. I'm sorry. Madness, really. Madness. Bombers fans, you know, I don't think you need to be too worried. Obviously not a good start, but it could be worse. You could be a North Melbourne fan. North Melbourne. Did we play today? Did we play? Fife took the piss. Bruce, disgusting. Disgusting performance, honestly. Cam McCarthy kicked five. What's with the McCarthy boys? We were lucky not to get done by 100, to be honest. We looked woeful all game. It's good to see Bailey Scott kick his first career snag. About the only bright light for the Roos. My biggest winner for round one is the Brisbane Lions. I think uh, it's a pretty, pretty sick win after the you know bad couple of years they've had. Young fellas going well, Lockie Neal going well, Lincoln McCarthy, I'm sorry, Lincoln McCarthy. Lions are my biggest winners of the round. Beating the, the Premiers, and a lot of people are tipping, you know, the Eagles to, to go back to back, and the Lions come out and slap them silly. And my biggest losers of the round, the North Melbourne Football Club. Disgraceful. I had it, I, I had it. before the North game started, I asked it in there, my biggest losers for the round. But uh, no, at least they lost to a good team. We lost to Fremantle. Like, I'm not throwing hate on Fremantle, but, you know, Freo aren't supposed to be good. And they've slapped us. Slapped us. So yeah, North, biggest losers of the round. And would you believe it? The biggest winners, Brisbane, and the biggest losers, North Melbourne, play each other next week. Ha! <laughs> you beauty, we're gonna, gonna get fucking throttled. We're gonna get throttled. For next week, if you see something happen during the game and you go, oh, I'd like to hear an absolute moron's opinion on that. Hit me up in the DMs on Instagram, at Young King Cookson, give us a message, let me know what to uh, give my idiotic opinion on. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Drop a sub or I'll kiss your dad. See you next time, kid.